Hey guys, what is up? This is the and Guard here today with some Pokemon Glaze. Last time we left off, we I believe climbed Mount Stratus. We also released the Algapalkia and Garantina from a prison, or from their prisons, and we subsided Mew and we cut off the link from the normal world and the Pokemon world. In today's episode, we're going to see if we can head towards the 8th gym. Now, I really don't know where the 8th gym is or where it could be. Um, all I know is that we have to dive to get to it and it will give us the core badge. It would help a lot if there were Pokemon around. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Honchkrow in my party. But, I'm not going to change the listing onto the right. Uh, you may have noticed that I did this in an earlier episode. Uh, basically, it just means that this Pokemon isn't really a part of the team. I'm just using it temporarily until I get to another Pokemon Center. It's not going to be used for battle, it's not going to be used for anything. Unless it's like forcefully dragged out from me getting my ass kicked, but... If you notice that the sidebar doesn't change, that's why. Um, also, uh, last night after I- well, first off, let me start off with this. If my recording sounds a little bit better or worse, it's because I'm using my headset microphone like I used to in the early episodes of Pokemon, Ruby, and Sapphire, or uh, Salt Link. Sorry, I, I don't know why, but I have a habit of just recording these as soon as I wake up, because I wake up extra late. Alright, actually, no, I think it's just down there. Alright, so... So I guess the full explanation of Honchkrow is pointless. But yeah, if like the only problem with my microphone is that apparently it records a lot of static in the background. Um, I don't know if I'm able to remove that with the audio tools I have now. But also, it's really sensitive, and I have it up by like I have to have it up by like my eyebrow, like the microphone part. Which, I mean, it's fine as long as it works properly. I just listened back to the audio and a little test recording was fine. The reason I'm doing this is I'm just trying to get the best audio sound for the series. And I thought, hey, if I'm going to screw up my like, audio for some reason, at least let it, let it be for like the last two episodes of this week instead of a whole week so everyone gets miserable. And, uh, you know, like, I'd rather make everyone listen to it for two episodes than five because that way... I know if I can do it again or not in a short amount of time. Um, let's see. I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to get rid of any of these. Uh, I just realized we've not gotten a fishing rod through any of this. Um, also, do we have another water type Pokemon? Because if we do other than Magikarp, levels Magikarp. Damn it. Damn it. Like, what I wanted to do was. Oh, wait! Can we do this? Do I have a water stone? Um, items. Actually, no, no. Um, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to teach Kipper dive, um, replace Scald for a bit. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find the move Deleter if he's in this game. If not, well, fuck me sideways. But I'm gonna go like between episodes and just look up where he is because so far I've been through this whole region I actually hasn't been th wow have we gone through this whole region wow. that time really flies but yeah we're gonna get rid of Scald uh, I know it sounds like a really stupid idea to get rid of Scald of all moves but um yeah um but basically uh after recording the last two episodes yesterday I just kinda damn it but yeah, after I recorded the three episodes yesterday, I just kind of stopped and I started hanging out with Lord Chocolate in the third and Mikey282 um, after I had to go shopping because I had to make some Pokestop runs and stuff like that. Well, I didn't have to, but I chose to. 
Um, but after I got back home from shopping and just getting po extra Pokeballs and getting another Pikachu, swear to god I'm sick of these things. Um, we sat down and I asked them if they finished the download for Skyforge, which was the MMO we talked about in one, I think, episode 21. Um, so basically, again, Skyforge is a MMO game that is, like, it's free to play. Um, so far, from what I've seen in the game, premium is not needed for anything whatsoever other than getting 100% uh, more experience. Not experience on drop, money and materials on drop, which again I have no problem with sitting and grinding for something. I mean, hell, I sat there and grinded for the uh, the unicorn staff in Diablo 3 by myself uh, multiple times. Literally took. Di I like the sprite of Crawdon, like I really do, but. Why did my... Why did my Swampert turn into a Goldeen than Crawdon? Whatever. But, um... It, it's... A f yeah, the premium slot doesn't seem to actually make you have to add anything, like, extra. Like, you don't have to have premium. And, in fact, once you get to a certain point, it gives you three days premium for free. Um, just so you could try it out. And it gives you, actually, the full benefits of having premium at that time. And it's fine. So far, I haven't even gotten anything for premium members. I haven't unlocked any new like uh, secret classes or anything for it. What? Do I, do I have to come up here? What, what's going on? Well, that's cool and all. But I need to get past this, don't I? Oh, do I need to go further ahead? Oh, I'm an idiot. Um... Uh, so they're gonna be using electric types, so uh, this should work fine. Oh. Oh, they're... Did I say they're gonna be using electric types? <laughs> but, um, me and Mikey282 started playing yesterday. Uh, Lord Chalkathin didn't get to finish downloading it till I think, maybe literally last night, and he had to... Like, only... He only did the tutorial, and then he had to get out and go to work. Or, he had to go to bed so he can go to work today. Um... Which... Yeah... What do we... That's weird. Um... But, me and Mikey beat, like, I think the first actual area. Which was this weird... This... It looks really nice. Not gonna lie, it's like some kind of, like, Xenoblade stuff. Uh, we beat this weird ruin level, and it was amazing, like... Uh, I was playing it on the fast gra uh, graphic settings because my computer couldn't really handle low, which really sucks. But... Um, once we beat it, we were told that we can unlock further classes by going through this level up tree that's just like Kingdom Hearts... Or not Kingdom Hearts, except this... Uh, I also made that mistake last night. Uh, Final Fantasy X, where it has like all the little orbs on the chart, and you have to like make them go towards whatever thing you want to unlock. And so, me and him afterwards checked out the classes, and he decided he wanted to be a Reaper. Which, as playing as the Reaper, I found out that. Oops. That was awesome. um, I found out that it's the controls for the game if you use a controller. Because the MMO has controller support. The only game I played like that, which was an MMO that had controller support, was a game called Rusty Hearts that was soon cancelled. But if you play as Death, or the Reaper, and you just, like... The, I'm sorry, Necromancer, my bad. My bad. Um, the reason I call him the Reaper is because he has a huge scythe and he shoots, like, different... Like, death... Like, he has a scythe, he summons minions to help him and everything. And I just think of death from Darksiders, but if you have a controller while playing, like, it feels like, you, like, it actually takes in combos, like XXY, XY, YXX, or stuff like that. And it's really cool, and you can all, like, I was literally dumbfounded by how well this MMO was made. Um... Okay. 
Sorry, just we were quiet. Um, I have a feeling we have to train for the boss or the gym leader if the enemies here are this strong. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping that uh, using dive here would have made more any or made like the underwater area change. But I guess it has to look like this if they're going to keep all the sound effect. Or I, I don't know. I don't know how exactly it works. But I'm personally going for a class called the Gunner. Um, I've been playing as the beginning class called the Cryomancer, which is a wizard that kind of it's a hard hitting wizard that uses ice magic. It's not really magic because I guess he uses it with tech, like he uses technology to like use it. I don't really know the whole thing behind it. They didn't really give backstories to the characters or like how they got their powers and stuff, which is kind of a downside. But at the same time, I mean, like whatever. It's this only so many things you can explain without losing interest with your pe uh, the people playing the game. Um, but yeah, the Cryomancer is a kind of hard-hitting character. He's meant for damage, um, but he can't take hits. Like, like he has a, me a moderate amount of health, but He's not meant for that close range combat, so he always has to stay at a kind of a distance. But he's a really great character, I actually did a solo mission with him last night, and uh... Yeah, I mean... I took out a boss that uh... Or two bosses technically that Mikey had problems with that I just took down no problem. And I'm going for the gunner because, like... I want to keep the long range tank aspect kind of for now. Because I want to kind of let people experience their own subclasses and what they want, like as they go. Because we usually play like this, like the style where, uh, where as long as you, it, wow, I can, I can't speak. Um, it's basically the style where uh, we first, we always start off playing as three different characters. Like I chose the Cryomancer, Mikey chose the Light. Lightbringer, Lightbender, which is the support character, and I believe Lord Chuckleton is playing as the Paladin. Um, can I talk to you? No worry, train our devil to take no more I want to teach it to you. This is the strongest will you prove your strength to the battle? Yeah. Let's just see. I feel like this is going to be one of those hard bosses. Perilous? Per Perilous. Well, please don't tell me this thing is high jump kick. Yeah, the Paladin is just the tank out of the three classes, and I'm going for the Gunner because he keeps the long range, high damage aspect, and he also gets. <sighs> of course, they make pro. Right. And like, I want to keep the heavy hitting aspect of the Cryomancer, but I, it has this weird, um, kind of like, I keep forgetting, it has this ammo aspect to it where it's like every spell you use takes up a bit of uh, this like little blue bar under your health or it's not little it's huge and you know it just I want this it just seems like it would help a lot more with uh, what I'm trying to go for because oh I guess we made it because I kind of like playing the mage characters or just like the long range stuff. Because I've always like chose magic and stuff when I play Skyrim or Fable and stuff like that. Um, at the dojo they help Pokemon train their Pokemon, why don't you try it? I probably will, this probably helped me out a lot. Um, if you haven't thrown a coin into the fighter fan, then say your wish will come true. I don't even need a wish though, win our gym battle for electric types. Because electric types will cream fighting any day of the week. Will they? In the fighting fountain, would you like to toss a coin to make a wish? Yes, but wish, wish, what will you wish for? I wonder. Chance is going to make a wish. So 
See, the, the, if you don't know, the reason I did that is because, um... Jirachi is the wish-making Pokémon, so I thought if I wish for Jirachi, that Jirachi would come. It's not that simple, though. Um... Waterfall Gorge. I hope they have something you can learn Waterfall, you need to cross the hall for Frost Pokémon to Alright, so... We're going into the town. I don't, really don't know what I want to do here. Maybe talk... Uh, I guess we got that rival battle, so I think we healed, right? Yeah, but... It's a really fun game, you guys should go check it out. Uh, I should only be in the last week. Come on, battle, it won't beat me that easily. Um, but I guess, I guess now that I'm coming off the topic of uh, that game, I, I don't think I had much to really talk about. Um, so I think the next episode, we're going to grind. So I'll probably save that recording for tomorrow, which means I only recorded one thing today, so I guess for any other free time I have today, I am going to go I'm going to edit the episodes. So that way I'm not wasting too much time. So I hope you guys are enjoying this episode. So far I'm really, I, I think the headset's a lot easier. That way I don't have a mic stand constantly bashing into my headset, making weird noises. Cedra. Um, soccer. Right. But it's a really fun game. Again, go check it out. Um, the, the character customization I already mentioned yesterday was really in depth. Um, you can change the height of your character, the walk animation, uh... uh I lost my train of thought. Your stance, uh, your character's height, width, uh, body proportions, head proportion. Um, you can give them a little belly, even though you have a lot of muscle and stuff like that. You can make them a dwarf. It's, it's basically all up to you. Alright, you've won this... Alright, you won this time! Then I still have eight badges, you only have seven. Here, I'm sure to make use of this. Oh, here, make sure to make use of this. This ain't will let you scale waterfalls like the one peppering waterfall gorge. You need badge for a gym just because to take care. I butchered all of that. All right, so, so far, I have an advantage while going into the gym because I have two Pokemon that know psychic type moves, even though one of them is a normal type. Um, I have a ghost type, which means none of the moves are going to be able to touch it, basically, I hope, unless they got, like, ice, fire, and thunder punch. Um, but other than that, I really don't... What is you? Fighting types stand no chance against me. I speed... I got speed and power to boot. I mean, you're Jilteon, so don't... Mm. This pond has scrolled up the mountains, but Pokemon's still thriving. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Long time ago, I was quite a fighter, but now I'm old. I mean, just because you're old doesn't mean you can't fight. I mean, look at Master Roshi. If you want the right stuff to toughen up your Pokemon, you better hand to the pharmacy. Are you telling me to get steroids? Every day, a hopeful trainer walks down a path, and the end of it is too not league awaits. You'll be the one to walk the path? Seeing how I'm the main protagonist. Yes. I really like this music. I don't remember where it's from. I just know that it's really good. I used to be quite the battler four years ago back in that day Bruce was the gym leader around these parts and I beat him. Want to know how I used this TM. Uh, air release. Maybe I should... Hawker ah, is also dark type so it's gonna get wrecked. Um, my husband barely leaves the house. He, the only thing he's training for is eating a contest. I train from dawn till dusk, so naturally I need good food to fill me up. Hey, whatever. I try training at the gym, that's how the thing works. It's funny how the gym here is actually a gym. Is it funny? Alright, so I'm gonna end the episode here, guys. Um, I think next episode we're going to check out the gym. Or no, first we're gonna check out the training grounds to see what exactly they're about. And then afterwards, if we have enough time, we'll go to the gym. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all have a nice day. And until next time, bye bye